All right, hey there. I'm uh, Andrew York, or I guess Provincial Constable York, with the uh, Ontario Provincial Police. I uh, currently work out of Armstrong Station, uh, one of our uh, most northern detachments. I'm uh, six months into my career right now, and uh, having uh, started at OPC or Ontario Police College, I guess last uh, last April, and uh, I guess Doug asked me to do a little video here, so I'll uh, I'll send it through. Um, so I met Doug in 2016 in the summer. Uh, I was preparing for the uh, Rio Olympic Games. Uh, I was representing, I'd already been chosen to represent Team Canada at that point, and uh, I was competing in the triathlon. Uh, so I qualified for the team after spending about 10 years as a professional athlete, uh, went to the Olympics, and unfortunately had a uh, tough day. Uh, another athlete in the race crashed in front of me. And uh, that caused me to to hit his uh, his bike. Uh, we were in a big pack, and I went down, uh, breaking my shoulder, uh, blowing the front wheel on my road bike, and uh, lying on the pavement with a bunch of a uh, bunch of cut bunch of cuts. Uh, I was able to get up, go get a new wheel, finish the race, uh, finish the remainder of the seven k. I think we had left in the bike and the. And finish the run didn't get the result I wanted I was like 42nd out of 55 and with something like that happening you know your your day is pretty much over and all the the work you've done to get to that point is is pretty much uh, is pretty much done uh, following the Olympics I didn't really have it in me to to put together another four-year cycle to get ready for uh, Tokyo I was just mentally burnt out and drained um, not feeling great about myself going through like that retirement process um but the relationship i'd kind of started with doug and him knowing that i was interested in policing and and he was at that time i think had just started teaching at the ontario police college i went and sat down at his house with them and we bounced some ideas off of each other and uh about what what the career would look like and how it'd be a good fit for me and my my skill set and and the uh the kind of person that i am uh, and so I was able to, uh, to sit down with him and kind of charted a career path and, uh, and that career path, uh, led me to ultimately, uh, be hired with the Ontario Provincial Police. Uh, Doug was one of my references and actually one of my instructors at the police college when I was there. Um, not only was he an instructor, but, you know, I would call Doug probably once a week just for feedback in terms of how to approach certain situations, how to carry myself at the school. On the job now, if there's been any conflicts at work, uh, he's been able to uh, steer me through some of those issues, uh, both him and his wife, uh, Michelle, who's also a police officer. Uh, so that's been incredibly beneficial for me because, you know, I feel a lot better about uh, where I'm at right now. Um, and, you know, like really I landed my dream job. I mean, a lot of people dream about going to the Olympics. I dreamed about doing that. I got, I got to do that, but now I've got to have my second dream here uh fulfilled with the opp and uh doug was a big part of that uh, in terms of helping steer me through some challenging times and times when i didn't think i was maybe ready to uh to move forward with this career or maybe try something different but he uh he held me to uh the original goal and and here we are so i got a beautiful day here in the uh, the north no bugs yet so uh i'll send you off and hope you guys have a great lecture there with doug thanks